Um, the CTC model does include things like sitting with parents, not educating them. This is not about, let me tell you what's bad about right. the alcohol consumption. It's actually right. asking parents to clarify and to articulate their own values around this. And then to say, right, are we, are we communicating to our kids what our values are? Are we acting in ways that are consistent with what we articulate our values to be? I'm not telling you what your values should be. I'm actually just asking you to articulate for yourself what your values around that are. And then we can think about whether we're acting in ways that are consistent with that. And we're, um, and so those kinds of things might be more reflected in the, in the um, CTC mm. model. The Iceland model was more about saying, when are kids using? In what circumstances are kids using? And what can we do to change those circumstances? So I'll give you an example from the Iceland model, which is very compelling to me in a particular circumstance in our community. One of the things they said in Iceland is that teenagers are hanging out at night. They're like out in the Boston metropolis of Reykjavik doing, getting into trouble, getting out of the road. Yeah. And so what they said is we are going to have a curfew in Reykjavik, not imposed by the police, not enforced by the law, but groups of parents walking around the streets. And if they see teenagers out, they're going to say to teenagers, it's after 10 o'clock, you're supposed to be home. You shouldn't be out on the streets now. Hmm. And the parents doing this said, mostly kids comply. When we say to kids after 10 o'clock, you're supposed to be home and they know they've been educated, they're supposed to be home. They mostly don't start up or fight back. The parents are not law enforcement officers. They don't have badges, they don't have guns. They're not arresting anybody. They're just reinforcing social norms. And most of the time that works. Hmm. Or I think about that in our communities. If you live in a suburban New York City community with a high Orthodox Jewish population, it is entirely possible that on Simchas Torah, you have seen drunken teenagers staggering around your streets. Kids gather, they go to other kids' homes, they gather. And I don't quite know what plays out, whether parents think their kids are just going to visit a friend or they kind of know what's going <laughs> on or they really know what's going on. But the idea of having groups of parents who agree to patrol the streets on Simchas Torah night and send kids home and be present and be out and be visible instead of we're all home in our rooms and our teenagers are out on the street getting up to who knows what. To me, that's actually an interesting model to think about. Have I tried to do this? No, I have not. Have I asked parents <laughs> lists all over you know, uh, our communities in Nassau County and Bergen County and Westchester County to sign up for ships walking the streets? Nope, I haven't done any of that. But the Iceland model suggests that that actually has the potential to be effective. If you think about things like saying some combination of what are the times, places, specific, you know, where kids get into trouble and what can we do to target those? That's more sort of like the Iceland model and the communities that care model, which says this is a community, where do we need to have education, involvement? Who needs to be involved in this discussion? Is it the parents? Is it the school rabbis? Is it the local police chiefs? Is it, I don't know who it is, who needs to be involved in working together on this um, to shift culture.